good morning i am mama maheshwari ap jpl department now this video i am going to present about the subject high voltage engineering in that god unit that is the generation of high voltage and high currents so this video we are going to see about the topic cockcroft walton voltage multiplier now this is used for the voltage multiplication of generation of high voltage and high currents we have different types one is voltage doubler circuit and cascaded voltage doubler circuit and then cockcroft walton voltage multiplier circuit in order to generate an high voltage we are going through this circuit so the cascade voltage multiplier circuit is used for generating the high voltage and which is required to um, and it is also requiring isolation transformers so it is possible to generate a very high dc voltage from a single supply transformer now by extending the simple voltage doubler circuit this we are able to construct and compact and obtain a load current requirement which is lesser than 1 milliamps so the example of such circuit is cro the cockcroft voltage multiplier circuit the diagram of it is displayed in this now the first stage of this cockcroft voltage multiplier circuit consists of the diode d1 and then d1 dash c1 and then c1 dash and transformers are identical with the voltage doubler circuit the higher output voltage that is the 4 6 and 2n of the input voltages of the circuit is cascaded to a series combination now when they see when the capacitor is charged to 4 vmax that is the c4 capacitor or c3 capacitor let us discuss about the c3 capacitor here when is charged to c3 vmax and we are able to obtain an voltage which is equal to 2 into n into vmax so during the negative half cycle the diode d1 diode d3 and 2n minus 1 will be conducting and the capacitor c1 this capacitor c1 c2 c3 and uh, c 2n minus 1 will be charged to value of vmax whereas during the positive half cycle the diode d2 d4 and d2n will conduct and the capacitor c1 c3 c2n minus 1 will be charged to value of vmax so in this manner we are able to obtain a voltage doubled value with respect to the number of uh, capacitors connected in the circuit and number of circuit which is connected now this is the view point of the practical view point of the cockcroft voltage dc generator circuit now under generated loader condition when the generator is loaded the output voltage will never reach at 2n max the output will consist of ripples on the voltage and the voltage drop delta v and the ripple voltage is represented as delta v now for an nc circuit the total ripple is represented as by the ripple voltage delta v is equal to i by fc n into n plus 1 by 2 which is equal to i by 2 fc into n into n plus 1 and the ripple total ripple is delta v is equal to 2 into delta v percentage of ripple is represented as delta vt by 2n vmax into 100 and the voltage drop is delta v is equal to i by fc into 2 by 3 n cube plus n square by 2 minus n by 6 for larger values of n which is greater than pi will be small and and this can be neglected this voltage drop can be represented as delta v as i by fc 2 by 3 n cube the voltage regulation formula is percentage delta v is equal to delta v by 2n v max into 100 percentage the voltage regulation it is the ratio between the voltage drop and the no load voltage 2n v max now not to obtain the optimum number of stages assuming a constant v max i f and c can be obtained now the n optimum for expression is given by square root of v max into fc by i Now we'll see a problem related to 10 stages cockcroft walton circuit, which is having a capacitance of 0.06 microfarad. The secondary voltage of the supply transformer is 100 kV at a frequency of 150 Hz. If the load current is 1 milliamps, we have to determine the voltage ripple, the voltage drop, and the regulation. 
the maximum output voltage and the optimum number of stages. So the voltage ripple is given by delta V is equal to I by Fc into N into N plus 1 by 2, which is given as by substituting the value of I, which is equal to 1 milliamps, and the frequency is 50 hertz, and the capacitance value is 0 0.06 microfarad. Substitute the N value as 10. So you will get the able to obtain the expression value as 6.111 kV. Now the next one is to find the voltage drop and regulation. Delta V is equal to I by Fc 2 by 3 N cube plus N square by 2 minus N by 6, which is equal to I by Fc 2 by 3 N cube. Now substitute the value of I. I value is 1 milliamps and F value is 150 and capacitance value is 0 0.06 microfarad, 2 by 3, N value is T. So after calculating, we are able to get the value as 74.07 kV. And the voltage regulation equation is delta V by 2N V max into 100. So the delta V, that is the voltage drop, we have obtained is 74.07 substitute here, divided by 2 N into number of uh, stages. So it is 10 and the Vmax value, Vmax value is 100 here. So 2 v, Vmax value is 100 volt, 100 voltage, it is given here 100 kV, 100 kV into 100 percentage. After calculating the percentage, voltage regulation percentage in terms of percentage is 3.7 volt percentage. Now the maximum output voltage is obtained by the expression V0 max is equal to 2N Vmax minus delta V. To substitute n as 10 and v max as 100 kv and the delta v voltage what we have obtained is 94.07 kilovolt by simplification we are able to get the v naught max as output voltage as 1925.93 kilovolt now in order to find the optimum number of stages we have the expression n optimum is equal to square root of v max f into c by i so, which is given by V max value is 100 kilovolt, F value frequency is 150, and the capacitance value is 0 0.06 microfarad divided by the I value, which is the current value, is equal to 1 milliamp. So, when calculating, we are able to get the voltages, sorry, and the number of stages is 30. So, in this video, we are able to understand the Singles transformer by extending the simple voltage doubler circuit. So this topic is about the generation of high voltage and high current using Cockcroft voltage multiplier circuit. And we have gone through the how to calculate the ripple in the cascaded voltage multiplier circuit with the help of the formulas. And we have determined the optimum number of stages, which is given by the formula n optimum is equal to square root of v max f c divided by I1. And we have solved a problem relating this Cockroft voltage multiplier circuit where n number of stages represents the 10 here. And we have calculated the optimum number of stages used in this for this problem. Thank you everyone.